Oh, hello. This is Bluebird. We're in my kitchen today and we're going to be making a purple corn drink. And I first had this purple corn drink when I was traveling to Peru and they would sell it on the streets. And so I have some Incan purple corn here that I'm going to make it with and hopefully it will be similar to what I had in Peru. So let's get to it. <laughs> Chichimurata is made from dried purple corn. It's super refreshing, sweet, juicy, and non-alcoholic. You can sometimes find bottled chichimurata or powdered mixes of it in supermarkets. But today, we're going to make it from scratch. Everyone who tried the chichimurata I made said it tasted like some kind of fruit juice. It really does taste like a fruit punch. And that's because in addition to the purple corn, there's fresh pineapple chunks, apple chunks, lemon juice, and spices in it. Although it has corn, this drink doesn't taste like or remind me of regular yellow corn at all. It has its own unique flavor to it. So what is purple corn? Purple corn originates from South America and has been around since the Incan Empire in 3000 to 2500 BC. It's commonly grown in the Andes of Peru, Bolivia, and Ecuador. It gets its vivid purple hue from water-soluble pigments known as anthocyanins. These anthocyanins act as antioxidants in the body, with purple corn offering one of the highest anthocyanin levels found in fruits and vegetables. My first introduction to purple corn was when I was living in the town of Palco, Peru. Some street vendors would sell this purple corn pudding, called Mazamora Morada, which is thickened with potato flour or cornstarch. It's warm, sweet, sticky, and purple, of course. The color really makes it an unforgettable dessert. So if you have an extra bag of purple corn, you can try making the purple corn pudding too. Purple corn can be a bit difficult to find, so I was excited to find it in a Mexican grocery store when I visited California. So to make chicha morada, you'll need a big pot for boiling the ingredients. We'll add our key ingredient, the dried purple corn, and add six cloves, two cinnamon sticks, and four liters of water to it. Also add in half a cup of pineapple chunks in here if you have it. I forgot to do that earlier. Bring it to a boil and reduce the heat to medium and simmer for 45 minutes to extract the color and flavor from the corn, pineapple, and spices. In the meantime, measure out your light brown sugar. Here I used 1.5 cups. It was a bit too sweet for my liking, so I recommend adding 3 quarters of a cup to start and then adding more as you like. Remember that brown sugar should be packed down into the measuring cup when you're measuring it up. I mixed about four tablespoons of boiling hot water into the brown sugar and mix it until all the sugar had dissolved. You'll know it's fully dissolved when you don't hear the sugar scraping the bottom of the bowl as you stir. As well, I have the juice of four lemons here. Once the mixture has finished boiling, I let it cool down for half an hour and then remove the contents. So you can see everything has turned this intense purple color from boiling it with a purple corn. Then I mixed in the sugar and lemon juice into the chicha morada. I have my clean mason jars ready here. I've got my funnel, which I've lined with a bit of cheesecloth to catch the cloves and other little chunky bits that might be floating around in our chicha morada. And I just started ladling it into the mason jars. My niece was visiting and you can hear she really wanted to help me out here. I do the rest. No, you're gonna get it everywhere. No, I'm not. I know you. I'm not going to. I have three two liter mason jars here. I'm going to chop up half a cup of apple into cubes and sprinkle a few apple cubes into each jar. I'll leave this in the fridge for half an hour and it's ready to enjoy. 
is best consumed within five to seven days after making and remember to keep it in the fridge. So I hope you enjoyed watching me make Peruvian chicha morada and I hope you'll give it a try. It's a very interesting and unique drink so I wanted to introduce people to it and have them try it for themselves. In the meantime, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos about brewing, distilling, and drinks. This is Bruber, sending goodbyes your way. I'll see you next time.